You know, it doesn't have the substance I'm looking for, but damn if I don't enjoy it. Hey guys, so today was the 13th episode of Supernatural Season 11. And it used this film as inspiration. If they were not borrowing from It Follows, they're kidding themselves. Because this episode was basically It Follows. What's going on is that there's this creature that is killing these people by literally winding up and punching through their chests and ripping out their hearts. Not eating them, just ripping it right out. And it was pretty cool because I actually, the first person who gets killed, like the creature actually just wound up and then went, well, bam. What's going on in this episode is it's Valentine's Day or post Valentine's Day. And the last time Supernatural touched on Valentine's Day, it was one of my favorite episodes ever. And that was in season five with Famine. Obviously we're not gonna get that, but we'll see what we get. And it was decent, even though it was a filler episode. Now, I know a few of you people have been kind of going at me thinking that I say it's negative when it's a filler episode. What I'm talking about is I hate how bad the filler episodes were in 6 and 7. Like, they had nothing to do with story. I know that filler episodes don't always have to do with story. I know that you can't do an entire 22 season episode and everything's gonna be super niche and cut, but I don't like it when it's literally just there because they're too lazy or they can't do any story stuff. I like how the fillers were done in the first five seasons. Uh, because they always would try and find a, uh, a story point and that's what they did a lot in the first season and that's what they have been doing in this one even though if there's any episode that doesn't have to do mainly with the story they still talk about it and that's what they did in this episode so they come across this girl who is a nanny for this two cup these uh, this couple and she's had her chest punched in and her heart ripped out in the end it turns out that she was having an affair with a husband who then is killed and what's going on is, is a witch story now the whole witch angle was not that great, it was kind of funny, but there was two memorable things about this. One, Dean finally won in a game of rock, paper, scissors with Sam. That was hilarious. Completely kind of random out of nowhere because the whole point of the choice was not really well what i think dean was wanting to do is he was wanting to get sam away so he would check one other place at the house because he knew who was going to come it was going to be amara uh so that was it was random but it was very funny and the second part is the entire basis of the episode is that your darkest desire is coming after you and the whole showdown with fake amara and dean and it was interesting because she comments on how the, you're cloudy you have the shame for this why do you have the shame and this creature has no real idea what it is. It's literally going around trying to kill you. So, but the funny thing was, as good as uh, this episode was, it was a little bit dry in certain areas, but I was intrigued. I actually was kind of interested in a new creature. And I love how they're always able to find new ones. I love how they're always able to do that. And the the direction, actually, these episodes were... This, the cinematography was a little bit over basic in this episode, and I liked that. I thought it was really cool just with how... Like I said, with the wind-up, I've always wanted to see that. Like, how on earth are they able to... What do they do before they punch through a person's skull or a chest or something? One straight up, well, bam! I like this episode, I actually, I really did. I, I much more enjoyed it than the last one, which is interesting because the last one had a lot more story and a lot more character. I like this one mainly because they were using one of my favorite horror films of last year as inspiration. And I liked that Dean admitted to Sam what his problem was. It's like, finally, you idiots finally can talk about shit instead of just keeping it secret because that's been an annoying thing that's really gotten on my nerves over the last few seasons it's like okay come on guys you had a secret about being with a demon and unlocking hell any secret you have afterwards is pretty basic and not really important so i like that they actually talked about it and how sam was all right with that because he says what you think that means you're weak okay dean you doesn't bother me i understand what you're going through and sam was acceptant of that dean was admitting his weakness and dean admitted he had a weakness which was cool because 
this show don't get too deep into these characters too often. Not the, not on the level of this, of this honesty. This honesty was really cool, and I liked it. And as much as I think that I won't really remember the episode other than the fact that it used It Follows, I'm going to give this episode a 6 out of 7. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a cool episode. I liked the wife character, how she was basically kind of thrown into this whole situation. And when... You know, they're always able to find new ways of making jokes with these filler characters. Also, the beginning of the episode where Dean looks like an absolute bum and has the hickey and everything. That was funny. That was admittedly very funny. But anyway, guys, that's my review for tonight's episode of Supernatural. I think it was pretty decent. Uh, I am looking forward as hell to the next episode, though. They're in time travel, back to the Fuhrer. They're on a submarine. What the shit? It's going to be a filler episode. But I don't give a shit, because that looks hilarious. Anyway, see you guys next week.